Today we take a look at Warplanes Battles over Pacific. Now I haven't played the previous games of this developer, so I am all kinda new to this series. Here we are in the main menu and we will just go through all of it so you can have a good impression of what the game has to offer. We have single player, multiplayer, cloud safe, controls and settings and again we are going through all of these. But let's first take a look at single player. And here in the single player screen you have the map of the Pacific Theater from which you can select different missions. Now on the left side you can select planes. You start out with the FM2 Wildcat which is just a simple plane. And with the funds you gather by completing missions you can go to the plane shop and buy new aircrafts. Which all kinda have positives and negatives. Besides that, you can also customize the layout, and with the layout I mean more the color scheme of the planes here. You have quite a lot of options and they will also be visible in multiplayer. Talking about multiplayer... In the multiplayer screen you have different options. First off, you have your profile, and I kinda like this, you have to sign in to their services. But here you can see uh, your rank, your kill death ratio, your time played, the total PvP score and your monthly PvP score. There is of course a leaderboard, so like a total co-op leaderboard. You can do missions together or a PvP uh, leaderboard. Or you can set up lobbies for you and your friends so they can enter a code, so they can join. But do know that there is also a public sessions list in which you can easily just join other players. Now what you see here is at the beginning of a single player mission and it kind of always starts at the ground here you can uh, set the flaps for example but we are lifting up so i'm just gonna put them uh put them uh, put them up you can control the joystick with the joystick on your controllers but you can just grab it and that feels more realistic um here's the throttle and this is feels quite a gimmicky because you always have to start up like this so we are going right now and if we are at around 100 miles per hour we can lift off and now it will just fade out gonna put the gear up but it will fade out right now and then it will put us into the battle you can even skip the the, the start up uh, uh, screen so it's really it feels really gimmicky so very arcadey now of what I have noticed most missions are like Okay, shoot down these bombers, shoot down these balloons, shoot down these things. And that all feels kind of... I mean, it is an arcade game, and I get that. And if you want to get into your first ever flight VR thing, this is kind of a good game. Uh, but very complex, it is not. But you can make this, of course, very complex by just going and hopping into the multiplayer and finding and uh, fighting people from your same skill level. And here it just takes a little bit of more of a practice. Because, yeah, I mean, I think I would like and play this game for the multiplayer and not necessarily for the single player. But I can imagine some people would really like the single player. Like fully completing all the objectives, getting all medals, getting more plane models and unlocking them. I kind of imagine that, that's, that's, that some people find that really interesting and cool. Now, I think this is really made for as an entry-level game for VR for a flight sim and yeah there is none right now so i think this is the best entry level flight sim there is right now for vr made for vr if you are looking for something more complex i would highly advise you to take a look at vito vr which is a modern era vr flight sim but it will give you a steeper learning curve and for some that is just more interesting you can, however, in this mission, for example, where we have to destroy some boats, set the difficulty. So you can do easy, uh, you can do medium, you can do hard. If you put it on hard, for example, there are no indicators. You can also apply this to the multiplayer if you want, which gives a bit more realism to the game. Now, here are some settings. Music volume, radio chatter volume. Yes, there is VoIP. You can talk with others in game, but you can also mute him, of course. Uh, sticky grip and there are some comfort options just basic but it works i hope you like this quick first look of what the game is about it's not up to me whether you should buy this game or not i think it's a good game to play personally i would not buy it because i like somewhat more complex games like vtol vr or dcs which can also be played in vr but hey if you are completely new to the genre i think this is quite an accessible game to get into and especially for the price now what i can also see being fun is just gathering some friends start a multiplayer lobby and do some pvping you, you can do single player missions but i think the game shines when you do some pvping and show who dominates the air the best if you have any questions about the game let me know in the comments down below and if you want to keep up to date with the latest pc vr updates then subscribe to this channel i hope to see you all in the next video ciao ciao